Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can use textures slash unique that weird sounds you hear in the pro sample makers they does. And uh, at the end, I'm gonna preview a beautiful kit me and Jordan made that has so many textures. You can actually just click and drag them and manipulate them to add that complex feeling to your sample game. Okay, we have this one. Just made a boring sample. I'm gonna let you hear in a minute. yeah vocals as always the savior of the day and this is the sample i how i flipped the same sample added new textures from the pack and this is what it sounds like i just i'm just gonna pitch it 300 semitones to add that effect on you yeah this is the sample right now I just took the same sample, add some effects to it. So that's the first thing. Just chopped it around, pitched it up. And then I added this part with the effects. And then this right here. And I started to add some, some textures right here. And this texture right here. They all gonna be in the pack. That's, that's good. Just flute right here and this kind of synth. Oh, this right here. Just one of the textures. Yeah. Yeah, we talking textures. This pad right here. But the one you hear it right here, I think. Yeah, yeah this pad. Just push it. This is one of the, the pad textures. I'm gonna show a little preview of the sounds, even though it's not fully finished yet. This is the same sample, try to play with it. The folk the vocals here are from Sarsinus. Yes, like what is this? It's literally the same sample. I recorded this this sample right here. Just pitched it. Add to it just shaver box pan and some some filter. Right here, this one is added to it loop rater, I think. Find it preset. Some pan and stuff. And pitched it up 12 semitones or one active. This one right here. is the same sample and you can see how, how i got so many counter textures or melodies to add to this to the main sample uh, from the main sample itself pitched it up one active down this one and i added to it shaper box with filter i think and some eq yeah, and i pitched it and i chopped it sorry let's see if i can reverse this beat <laughs> That's hard. This part right here. Also, I mean, if I reverse this. I just reverse this one. That, that's crazy. The last part. Yeah, that, that, that's good. That's some tank to it at the end. Yeah, these, these all textures, you can just really manipulate them to add that unique complex feel to your samples. It's not fully done right now, but yeah, I'm gonna show you some sounds. 
Yeah, on bell textures, you know. Blue textures. Add textures as well. Mm. This one. This is my favorite one. Percussion folly is just for drums to add to the sample. Yeah, if you want to use one of these right here. But you need to, to change the pitch. That's right. You can also reverse. Give that feeling to the sample, add more complex element. Like I said, I've been saying complex so many times. This is my main approach when I started like making the sounds so it can help you add that complex element to your samples. Kind of takes a hmm. We have the sign, so squares all way. The string. Sent one. The weird samples as well. They all just hard samples, to be honest. Yeah, so my main goal to make the sounds is actually to help you just add that finishing touches or to actually start with the textures so they can inspire you to make a good ass sample on them. That was my main goal, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm trying to revive this channel. I'm gonna be uploading more, hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna try to upload more and more. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.